I do not recognize these tracks. All right. Was crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Just finished my uh, cup of coffee. So, good morning, guys. Right now, I have to take out the trash. Uh, it's Thursday morning. I forgot to take it out last night. No, last night it was about two, maybe three degrees Fahrenheit. Now this morning, the temperature is, and I want you to check this out. Twelve below zero, negative twelve. I don't want to go outside, but I have to. I have no choice. I got to take out that trash, because if not, I have to wait another week. So I'm going to roll out the big trash can out to the street, but I have to put on everything I've got today, including my cleats. Okay, I've got my cleats on. And the reason I put my cleats on is because I have like a permanent sheet of ice on my driveway all the way down to the main street. Recycles are good. Ah. All right, I got, I believe, dog tracks, rabbit tracks, and deer down there today. It's about quarter after seven. Beautiful morning. It's gonna be a nice, beautiful, sunny day. I hope this camera does not freeze on the way down to the street. So a couple of days ago, I was in Philadelphia for work and it was a nice 40 degrees that day. I haven't seen 40 since December. But check this out, see? There's always ice on my road. And we're gonna get one or two inches of snow today, one or two inches of snow tomorrow, and another few inches on Saturday. And some of it may melt, but not all of it. That's why I have kind of like a permanent sheet of ice on this, on this driveway. Oh, check these out, guys. I do not recognize these tracks. All right. You see that? I'm gonna record them. And they go in from left to right and from right to left. I've seen deer before go up this way. Now these are not deer tracks. There's something else Maybe coyote. Let's take another look. Don't know if anyone recognizes them. Let me know. Put it in the comments below. And I'll look it up on the web later today. Now these tracks I cannot identify. It looks like they've been done or created a couple of days ago. But they're much farther apart. And if you look at this one, it's big. It looks like probably four or five toes. I could be wrong. So that's our house. And some of those big tracks, and they're further apart. They're there too. You see the shape of them? You can you can tell this one pretty good. You see that? And they are right next to what I believe are deer, deer tracks. You see that? They go all up there. Almost every day. What? Every time it snows, I see tracks in this area. 
all the time and they either come from or go that way but I have seen deer go this way before but the big uh, tracks that I just showed you they're kind of like yeah they're spaced apart uh, a lot more and they're they are kind of rounded that's another one this is smaller obviously but I thought these were dog tracks but I don't think they are I'm thinking they're coyote okay loaded the boiler this morning and I'm running out of wood guys for well, the big the big pieces anyway these small ones they'll burn kind of quickly it's more like kindling uh, they'll work I may have enough wood here for what another week and a half or two so this weekend I'm gonna get busy and start cutting a lot of that I haven't had a lot of time uh, over the last couple of weeks with work and uh, you know ch chores around the house and the family but I'm taking a week vacation starting Monday and I'm gonna come out and do a lot of this work that needs to be done because if I don't start chopping cutting this wood I'm gonna be out of wood for the boiler soon and I want to keep this boiler running at least until the first second week of April so yeah the previous owner told me that he normally filled this entire shed up with wood for the winter and he was not kidding it's gonna require all that I mean I have enough here I just need to go and cut it hi karama guys I uncovered my fingers for just about 20 seconds so I can record a video a short video for my father in Puerto Rico and my fingers froze in just 20 seconds wow <laughs> this is for Henry Luke's son now for those of you that don't know I used to work for the Air Force for two years maybe about 10 years ago and I met Luke there he was an Air Force staff sergeant and Luke taught me everything I know about the classified zipper networks and after he left for Europe I took over uh, the job that he was previously doing and his teachings led to my job in the Navy as a classified network technician or administrator now Luke watches my channel and so does his son Henry and Henry asked if I can blow the horn on my Kubota BX2680 but Henry unfortunately this Kubota or the BXs do not come with horns not this particular model um, the bigger Kubotas do uh, but not not the small ones but what would a Kubota like this sound if if it had a horn normally the horns will go there I seen some tractors with buttons on the side but most of the time I am imagining that they are here kind of like a car however this is what my Kubota will sound like if I had a horn or how about this one now Henry these are just sound effects maybe someday I mean it is a good idea to install a horn on this Kubota BX 2680 and if I never mention it thank you Luke for teaching me everything you knew on the separate networks